uncommon ways of using salt to manifest money. Manifest salt, a pinch water. of your table salt can make you rich, powerful, and the honorable. By God's grace, in today's video, I want to share with us another set of amazing ways of using salt to manifest abundance. Believe me, the Bible says money answers all things. It can't actually do without money. And that is why most of the times I constantly share recipes and money. So by God's grace, even if you don't have any other spiritual material where you have salt in your house, irrespective of the type of salt, whether it is kitchen salt, your sea salt, Himalaya salt, whatsoever, you can use it to manifest lots and lots of money if only you can use it this way so if only you follow me to the end of today's video i will share that amazing piece of information but before then please give this video a thumbs up and help youtube algorithm shift it to other people that need it as to do so may god bless you so welcome once again to jenny action tv in this particular channel i'll discuss three important variables which are actually health safety and spirituality believe me if you can understand and apply this three correctly in your life the sky will not be your limit it becomes your starting point if this is the very first time you're landing in this channel you're highly welcome Please do well to hit the red subscribe button and the bell notification so that YouTube will always notify you once I upload a new video. For my returning subscribers, I love you so much. Thank you for always stopping by. For my new timers, if you're searching for a new video, all you need to do is go to the search button in YouTube, type Jenny Action TV, slide the keyword of the video you are looking for. For example, salt. You get the videos that are made in the past about salt, you watch and get some value. So without actually wasting your time, let's delve into the video of today. Salt, whether it is kitchen salt, whether it is powdered sea salt, whether it is countable sea salt or whether it is Himalaya salt, any type of salt is powerful. It is the father of all the cleansing agents. Salt is so powerful that God made covenant of salt with the children of Israel. And Jesus affirmed that we are the salt of the earth. There is something about it. Now, these are the five ways you can actually use salt to manifest wealth. Abundance money. One, we call it salt infused wallet. What do I mean? When you want to go out, assuming that this is your wallet, just open it and sprinkle a little bit, especially that particular side you normally put money, preferable, just a little bit of countable or powder scissor, like seven scissor, put it there. But any other salt you have, just sprinkle a little bit. You can actually sprinkle it inside your bag, the particular side you normally keep money. Like I have advised you, don't keep many other dirty things there, like receipts and papers. Make sure that that place is very neat and your money is well arranged from the biggest to the smallest denomination. So when you have done that, sprinkle a little bit of all you are saying that I want more. I want more. Even though that there is money here, that I need more money from the universe. And believe me, one thing about salt is that salt is an energizer. It's a cleanser. It's a symbol of prosperity. It's a symbol of abundance. So what it does is that it will be cleansing of negative energies, hindrances, obstacles that will make you not to possess money. If it is business you are going, you will discover that you will make sales easily. If it is office you are going, you will discover that you find favor before people. If it is a kind of um, contract you are going to beat, you will easily get that contract. So this is one of the ways you can use salt to make money. Number next one is what I call salt water money. How do you do this? You get some coins, whether it is three, five, seven, but let it be an odd number. Like I have seven coins here, then you get, like I know I told you that there are certain things you should not allow to finish in your house. Coins is one thing that must be in your house. Go to people that are selling spiritual materials, even if you no longer use coins in your currency like Nigeria and buy it. I actually bought these coins. So long as coins is in your house, spiritually, it's coins that is, is what is regarded as money. That's why in all the analogy or a proverbs that or parables that Jesus gives in the scripture about money, it will always be coins. So when you have it, it draws well to you. One of the reasons why Nigeria is suffering constant hardship is since the time they remove coins from their currency, watch countries that are still using coins. You will see that they are always making progress. Now, when you get you get a jar like this, or, or grass cup, any other container that is glass, that is glass, please, salt water goes hand in glove with glass. Then you put three spoons of salt, that is if you are using kitchen salt inside it, or one spoon of powdered sea salt, or actually seven pieces of salt or countable sea salt, any one you have. After you have put it, pour some water in it, and then immerse your coins inside it. Then 
what you have done, that is what I call salt water money. You use it to make prayer and declare, oh God, the creator of the universe, that I use this to represent my money. That whatever is it that is blockages, negative energies that is surrounding my money, every hindrances and obstacle that they clear it. Especially if there, are, there is money you are expecting, a lot of people are owing you, they don't want to pay you, they, then you connect it to that. You are expecting to be promoted in office and it sees that something is hindering it, you connect it to that, that whatever hindrances that is blocking my promotion, blocking my finance, some people promise you money that are not giving you that today I want it to be cleared. Then you go and drop it, especially in the window, where a kind of it will be receiving illumination of the sun and other forms of weather. I told you that every spirit visiting you actually comes from the window. So drop it in the window of your house. And if there is particular intention that you have in mind, not just that I want to increase my finance, but you are sure maybe somebody promised you money, that person don't want to give you, and then probably you are bidding for one contract and you are expecting to get it. Write it in a plain piece of paper and add it inside that particular salt water that you have made with your coins inside it and then drop it in your window and leave it there for seven days. After seven days, pour it away. If that intention has not manifested, you can actually prepare another one. Make sure you pour it out in the atmosphere where it will touch sand. And the, as your opponent be declared, as long as that person or that situation, those people are involved, have contact with the have contact with sand, that they must grant my request. By God's grace, before even the expiration of the time you need that money, it will just come. That is what I call salt water. The third one is what I will call salted candle abundance. How do you go about this salted candle abundance? Is that you need to get your white candle, like I made video, that one of the best candles to pray with is a white candle. I don't advocate for any other color of candle because they are, I, by God's grace, I, I teach spiritual work here that doesn't remove anything from you, that doesn't have side effects. Some spiritual work actually removes something from you. In fact, there is a spiritual work you will do one year will be removed from the yeah, you're supposed to live in this earth. But by God's grace, I only teach safe and sound spiritual work. So for now, I only advocate for you to pray with a white candle. So when you get your white candle like this, you get a, a bowl like this, and then put some quantity of salt. Let's just say one spoon of kitchen salt or seven pieces of your countable sea salt or one spoon of powdered sea salt. So when you have put it, in order for it to make sure that you... Because you are going to smite on this candle and then burn it, then you have to add a little bit of either coconut oil or original anointing oil, olive oil, or you can actually get your pancana oil, any oil at your disposal, then you now just a little bit, something like water spoon, just to help it stick to the candle and water more and mix it together, then get it and make sure that you stick it, you massage it very well, let it stick to the candle, then if you are using countable, if you are using something like countable sea salt, you don't even need to use those oil, just make sure that you, you that when this candle is born, you are putting it to burn in the candle, then when you have done that, get something like stainless plate or any, or put it in any safe place, you know, maybe even on the ground on your burner or anywhere, stand the candle and let that salt be burning. As that salt is burning together with that oil that help it to stick, or as the candle is burning, you're just putting your sea salt gradually, that's the countable sea salt, and that it is burning, start praying. That, oh God, the creator of the universe, that today I come before you to request that you bless me with financial abundance and that any power any force that has been hindering my finances as this sort is born let it begin to burn down let every energy around my finances be purified and let my intention be amplified exactly especially if you know a particular reason why you are burning it you have a particular reason why you are burning it probably you are going for a job interview you are going out for your business you want to make good sales you are going out to ask for favor from somebody you are going to bid for contract anything that has to relate to money be pretty specifically concerning that you can actually burn it a night before you start going because once you are using candle to make a prayers it's always advisable you it burn down completely so then if it, you, are, you are going for the next morning i don't have enough time to burn it make sure you burn it a night before and pray accordingly concerning that intention and also make sure that you write that intention in a flame paper and let the candle be stood on that particular flame paper as that salt is that salted candle is burning that completely get that intention and burn it alongside by god's grace go for that particular thing that need money or call that person that promised you money 
he will never say no to you because actually candle represents purity, represents the presence of God. So you have actually drawn the presence of divinity into humanity and you will surely get a positive answer because nobody goes to the presence of God and actually go empty-handed. So this is another way of using salt to manifest. Yeah, other ways, but because I don't want to make this video long, I am going to call it a pity. I believe in that somebody has actually found value. If you have, please give this video a thumbs up. Why not subscribe to this channel if you have not done so? Hit the bell notification so as to get my next upload. Share this video and share it to everyone. My channel will be helping a lot of people. As you do so, may God bless you. Oh, no, you curse it to ride upon the high places of this earth. See you later. The journey. See you. Bye-bye.